Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Tuesday to all of you. New legislation has officially been proposed that would affect many Americans financially. States are now looking into tax cuts to offset soaring inflation and the rising cost of living across our country. A new wave of relief checks are also expected to be sent out this week to those that meet the eligibility requirements. So friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of the details. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. If you would like to enter my giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. And friends, the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. Top stores pay more for energy and goods. Big oil companies are announcing giant profits. They have hit the jackpot. Over the first three months of the year, ExxonMobil reported $5.5 billion in profits. Chevron recorded $6.3 billion. And Shell raked in $9.1 billion, its largest quarterly profit ever. In just three months, these three companies made nearly $21 billion in profit. Now, robust profits are usually a signal for companies to invest in capital and labor and build a foundation for future growth. But big oil has different priorities. Rather than increasing business investment or production, these companies have almost uniformly pumped profits directly to their executives and wealthy shareholders. In February, even before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, sent gas prices skyrocketing, the Financial Times reported that seven of the largest oil companies, including Exxon, Chevron, BP, and Shell, were expected to return $38 billion to shareholders through buybacks this year, plus another $50 billion in dividends. Friends, here is some important news. A growing number of states are taking steps to temporarily cut taxes in hoping of providing some relief for Americans who are experiencing the hottest inflation in a generation. Some experts say that this could actually exacerbate the problem. The states of California, Delaware, Georgia, Florida, Kansas, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Maryland, New Mexico, and Pennsylvania are among the states that have proposed or already passed this legislation. These laws are intended to put more money back into taxpayers' pockets as a way of offsetting soaring consumer prices. According to the Tax Foundation, there are some three dozen U.S. states enacting or considering a form of tax relief. In New Mexico, lawmakers sent most taxpayers $1,000 to help with rising gas and grocery prices, while legislatures in the state of Maryland and Georgia have temporarily paused a gasoline tax in their states. Iowa, Idaho, and Indiana have all slashed income taxes this year. The push to lower taxes comes as consumers grapple with the highest inflation in nearly 40 years. The government reported last week that the Consumer Price Index jumped 8.3% in April. It is far faster than economists had expected. Consumer Price Index is a broad-based measure that tracks the prices of goods, including health care, rent, gasoline, and food. And according to a new analysis, on average, Americans are shelling out an extra $311 a month on goods and services because of inflation. This financial squeeze stems from the rising cost of a number of everyday goods, including cars, rents, food, gasoline, and health care. And as a result of this, U.S. states, many of which are still flush with stimulus cash, are trying to pad consumers' wallets by at least lowering taxes. One expert at the Tax Policy Center says that that plan could ultimately backfire, resulting in even higher inflation. Some economists have argued that putting more money into people's pockets at a time of already steep inflation could further increase demand for goods, driving up prices and worsening the inflation spike. Some have said that the job to tackle inflation is ultimately on the Federal Reserve which has already responded to rising consumer prices 
by increasing the benchmark federal funds rate by 50 basis points for the first time in two decades. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has signaled that more similarly sized hikes are on the table at future meetings as policymakers race to catch up with runaway inflation. So friends, please let me know in the comment section below what you think our president and Congress can do to reduce inflation. Thank you so much, friends. Stimulus checks are coming soon for one state. The state of Illinois is pushing ahead with rumored plans to issue a statewide stimulus check in its latest budget. At the start of this month, Illinois State Senate Democrats proposed $1.8 billion in tax cuts that would include stimulus checks for nearly all residents of the state. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker promised tax relief in this year's budget. Part of that relief will come in the form of a check directly to your mailbox. Unlike the stimulus checks sent out by the federal government in the early stages of the crisis, the state's plan will scale based on a person's tax filing. Those who filed taxes independently in 2021 and made under $200,000 will be receiving at least a $50 check in the mail. Joint filers who brought home less than $400,000 in 2021 will receive a $100 check. The state will send individuals even more if they have dependents, increasing the total amount by $100 for each dependent for a cap of three dependents. That means the maximum amount of money that an individual filer could receive is $350, and the most that a joint filer could receive is $400. The governor has already signed the budget, meaning those checks are coming. All of the data will be determined by the 2021 tax filings, so for those who did not file taxes that year will not be receiving this check. Well, my wonderful and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly and truly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. The two winners of Monday's Walmart gift card giveaway are Alan Foss and Francine Adams. Congratulations, my dear friends. If I have announced you as the winner, please check your notifications page and send me an email or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Remember friends, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards four days out of the week and the value will be $75 each. If you would like to enter any of the giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much everyone and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.